we were down to three ladies and she came in and did her chemistry read with um, Jason Berkey. And we were also moved. I mean, one minute we were laughing and the next minute we're just broken and crying. And we went, this is the one she's chosen. It's moi. I love influencing people like where to shop, who to know. Hi, mom. We're cutting you off financially. No, we're only doing this because we love you. Hi friends, it's Brittany Valadez here for RigbyDaily.com. Today I have with me Sherry Rigby. Yes, she is a part of the new Great American Pure Flix film, Divine Influencer. I will let her tell you her role coming up soon. But before we get to that, if you guys haven't, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, share it with all your friends. I really appreciate that because it helps get the word out. All right, up now, let's get into this interview. Speaking of good messages, we know The Chosen obviously is a good message, the message of the Bible. So how did you guys get to partner um, with uh, your lead actress for this film? Because I mean, fans of The Chosen will definitely recognize her. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Lada Silva is just, she is literally the chosen. She is one of those beautiful um, stars. And I'm telling you, she is just as incredible, if not even more off screen than she is on. And so her personality, her humility, her love for Christ, her love for others, it just shined through. And so what was really interesting was, is we were praying and praying that God would bring us somebody who was lovable and likable in this character right from the beginning. And because we want you know, she kind of goes on the journey, right? And there would have been people that if they played it a certain way, people might not have really liked her and stayed connected. And so here all of a sudden, Lada Silver comes onto our screen and she knocks, just knocks us over with just her beauty and her kindness and her emotional range. You know, she's like funny one moment and heartfelt the next. And, and so, um, we were down to three ladies and she came in and did her chemistry read with um, Jason Berkey and the entire room of producers and casting. We were all just sitting there and we watched Lada and Jason together and we were also moved. I mean, one minute we we're laughing and the next minute we're just broken and crying and we went, this is the one she's chosen. And, and so, and I just, I have to tell you, like, I really believe that God hand chose her. She is just an incredible woman. And I hope to continue to work with her in the future. Yeah, she's so cute. And she's so funny in the movie. And you're right, she just makes mm -hmm. you like, happy, and you feel sorry for her, but you're also like a girl, but then you feel sorry for her again. And then <laughs> just like the perfect wave of emotions as you as you watch the film. Um, mm -hmm. Now, for you, uh, how does it feel being behind the camera and taking on this major, major role? I'm not going to reveal it. Tell us, your big deal behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love being a director. Um, I love it. I, I really believe that, you know, God has given me an opportunity for over the years to act and um, to write and to speak and to do these incredible things. But really when I get to be a director and I get to create and visually um, bring this story to life as other ones, I get to work hand in hand with my writing producing partner. I get to help to tell these stories and I actually get to, there's a couple things too. First, I get to encourage the talent. I get to really try to pull out as much as I can out of them and really help to elevate their performance. And I can speak the language to them, right? So I can understand how to um, engage with them. And then number two, it's really about also encouraging them in their performance. You know, creatives need a lot of encouragement. That's just a way that God created us. So I know how to do that and encourage them and love on them and really just um, honor their performance, really. And then number two, and it is um, as a director and a producer, I have a women's ministry for years called the women in my world. That's a nonprofit. And um, we actually now are able to put women uh, in entertainment and media where we get to support them uh, to be part of films behind the camera or even in front. But on this particular movie, divine influencer, I had seven women that we were able to financially support and put into place so that they could be a part of this project. And so when I am as a director and a producer, I get to have, um, I get to have the leadership and be able to make those decisions. And so I love it. I just feel like God's given me um, the best thing in the world. Divine Influencer was a, is a movie actually inspired by um, my dear friends, 
uh, Matthew and Caroline Barnett. Uh, they are the founders of the LA Dream Center, Tommy Barnett. And so when I lived in Los Angeles for years, I was part of that ministry and really inspired by seeing how the Lord was working through the people who came into the program there. So whether it was homelessness, drug addiction, uh, human trafficking, whatever that was. And so it was a part of part of that place to be able to see what God was doing. And so I was so inspired by the stories, but what always hit me were these incredible women who were coming through the program and to see them just like you see one of the characters in the movie, Carla, who goes in and just a piece of clothing, just being loved on and, and lifted up and encouraged and given a place where she feels secure and loved, just changed her whole demeanor and her personality and gave her this new approach to life, even though she was struggling and going through hard times. And so um, we ended up, uh, Claire Uridale, who is my writing producing partner and another friend, Susan, Susie Eldridge, who is also a writer, um, were at an event there. And so really they pitched me on an idea about a young woman being homeless. And so over the years, the movie morphed and we really were starting um, to see how we could use social media as this um, foundation for how do we actually serve the kingdom first and then serve others and how do we do it well and so we that's how we took and married these two ideas together so that's how and what you see in divine influencer yeah i really like how you mentioned you know you're not your nonprofit because it reminds me of a verse in the bible where the lord where it's talked about um how you know women are older women are supposed to influence younger women and i that verse i've taken mm -hmm. serious in my own life I want to find women younger than me to help um, in ways that I can, because as we go through different journeys, we're always going to have, as we get older, we're always going to have someone older than us and someone younger than us. And I would tell mm -hmm. any, any woman, whether you're 20 or you're 70 or 90, always find someone younger to influence and always go under someone older to be influenced by. So I love yeah. the fact that your journey has taken you through everything and you're also giving back and you're, you're using your your Christian ministry and your art to be able to do that to everybody. So I just see like that verse coming mm -hmm. to life. So in, in your career, mm -hmm. have you had someone older than you that you've looked to as a mentor? And if someone's looking to find someone as a mentor, another woman is looking for a mentor. What advice would you give them when it comes to looking for the right mentor for them? Absolutely. I have had women in my church and, and therefore I, I've had a lot of not men who have mentored or discipled me, I guess, like life wise, but in the entertainment industry, you know, when I went to Hollywood, Brittany, it was really hard to find women who were really ready to pour into me in the entertainment world. It just there, it just was difficult. And so my, my thing was, is that God told me that I was in the position that I was in back in 2009, that I was actually in Hollywood for his women. And so I took that um, very seriously when I started to create the ministry that I have today. And what does that look like? And it's because we are supposed to be shepherding, bringing up, discipling, and mentoring the next generation. If we want Christian influencers to be in places that they can actually share their voice for the gospel, that they can do the work that they're needed to do, we have to be willing and able to take the time to do that. And so I realized that I didn't really have any of that, and I really needed to help to um, elevate that particular piece in the entertainment industry and just in life in general as a mother or wife. And I'm telling you, God has given me some of the coolest and craziest and most amazing women around me that are a little older now and a little younger, and they all step out and serve women exactly the way that the Bible has called them to do. And I, I couldn't be more excited about who the women in my world are. When you were talking about, you know, how it's maybe hard to find someone in Hollywood, it could be also the fact that, you know, it's hard to find sometimes Christians, but in women in general, there's a competition element that we seem to have yes. against one another. And I was thinking about, it. I don't know if I was watching a pastor or something online and they were saying, you know, you're calling from the Lord. Obviously we know as Christians, we're called to make disciples and yes. we stick our head in the word. It's going to keep us out of the world. And the world is going to tell us that's a competition. That's a competition over there, over there. But when you look at the mm. word, it says, no, I'm calling you to disciple younger women. So they are not your competition. If I've called you to do this and it's in mm -hmm. the word, then you need to do it. You need to trust that my calling that I have for you is for you. And they have a specific calling and you don't need to let fear or the fear of, Oh no, or is that the competition hold you back? Because that's what the enemy wants. So 
I like yeah. when we look to the word as our source, it changes our perspective and how we do things in life. And I find mm-hmm. it very encouraging what you just talked about, how you said women of all ages that you have around you that are doing what they're supposed to do in the Lord. So that's, that's awesome to hear. Yeah. It's, it's so cool. And I think you see that even in this movie. And that's something we really wanted to share was, you know, our character Flora, she wasn't really sure that she was supposed to be doing it. And, you know, on she makes her own comments. And it's like, wait a minute, you know, and she goes on her own little journey to realize like, wait a minute, somebody has been put into my care and how am I caring for them? Um, And so you see those elements also throughout this movie. And I think that's the important part of that is that every single place as believers in Christ that we go to, we can be serving others and discipling in some way, giving back and sharing. So I just, it's really encouraging for me to be able to see what God is, is doing and what he's done already. Absolutely. And I know that the movie is going to ignite people to want to influence, you know, in the way of the Lord around them. Mm-hmm. I know it did me after watching the movie. I was like, ah, I think I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that now. It just it changed the way <laughs> I thought of the word influencer as, I, as I've seen it. I mean, I, I know it, but just watching the movie, I swear it lit mm-hmm. a fire under me to change a couple of things in my own life. So thank you. You're inspiring already, which is <laughs> the, the, entertaining and inspiring. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I love what, and that's what we were hoping for, that it would provoke people to really look at how they were influencing and right where they had the opportunity to influence. So that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. All right. Last thing, can you promote the film? Tell us where we can find it when it comes out, all the things. Absolutely. Well, we are excited because Divine Influencer is kicking off the new branding of Great American Pure Flix. And so you're going to want to go on stream. And if you are not a subscriber already, make sure that you subscribe, you, 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 you watch the movie, you stream it and you share it with your friends and family. This is a movie for everyone. And it brings up lots of great pieces to talk about, just like you and I have. All right, friends. So I have a question for you. How are you being a good influencer for the word and for the Lord in your own life? Yeah. Some of you guys may be using social media. Others may just be talking to your coworkers at work. Others may be volunteering and sharing the Lord out in the field. Um, yeah. Tell me, how are you doing it? Because we all need a little bit of advice and a little bit of encouragement. Okay. All right, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this video. Um, until next time, I'm Brittany Valadez from RavenTheDaily.com. God bless enough. See you in the next one.